Acessível. We are in a very totally different part of Cebu right now. This part of Cebu is known as the business district of this entire island. It is known to be one of the most popular and uh, wealthiest areas of this administrative uh, region. And um, it has some of the most expensive real estate, a lot of uh, industries and multi-millionaire companies coming here, a lot of restaurants, cafes, supermarkets, and a lot of foreigners decided to come here and live here for the rest of their lives. So I want to take you on a tour today on the Cebu business district here in Philippines. We're gonna go now to some of the most like important spots from here from the business district and we're gonna see one of the most popular recreational areas Cebu Business Park has to offer. One thing that I like about this country and about the city is the fact that they combine somehow the old and the new. As you can see, in between the most futuristic and the most luxurious and nice neighborhood here, you have this old statue of the arrival of Magellan in Cebu, which represents the beginning of Christianity for this country. So, cool! Heritage combined with architecture and combined with modern. Nice! Hi guys, can I ask you something? What do you like about Cebu? I live here. To live here? I live here. Oh, you live here? That's why you like it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's cool. What about you? Yeah, same. I live here. I really have no choice. <laughs> ah, okay. No, no choice. Okay. I guess it's... Um, in an hour you can get to anywhere. Like if you want to go to the beaches, it's like an hour away. If you want to go to the mountains, it's an hour away. Like. You can get a bit of everything here. A bit of everything? Yeah. Okay. That's that's a really good point. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Nothing is better than on a busy Saturday afternoon than coming here at the mall or at the center, Ayala Center, and enjoy and have a nice evening enjoying the wonderful enemies that this place has to offer including the stage which is uh, preparing for something i don't know what but you can find out let's find out 6 p.m 6 p.m yeah event okay and music and uh, or just uh, celebration or something i was yeah um, uh, what kind of an event what's happening music no uh okay culture culture only. Yeah. Dancing, entertainment, not, 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 not. birthday, wedding, <laughs> funeral. <laughs> it's okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Entertainment. entertainment. Yay, entertainment. Okay, thank, <laughs> thank you so much. You. Have fun. Thank you. Yay. What do you like the most about Cebu? The food. The food? Yeah. Oh, I love the food here. Which one? The seafood. The seafood. It's amazing. What about lechon? What? Lechon. Lechon? What's yeah. that? The lechon, the roasted uh, yeah. suckling pig. <laughs> we no. don't eat you pork, don't pork, so that's the thing, yeah. We but like the shrimp pork. here the most, yeah. Shrimp? Shrimp is amazing, yeah. Are you from here, from the Philippines? No, no, no. We're uh, from North Africa, from Tunisia. Tunisia! Yeah. Amazing! <laughs> wow! Yeah. I'm from Romania, but I've oh. never been to Tunisia, but right. I would love to go because I know there's like a big Star Wars... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's so nice to meet you. You too. I was talking out to Michael like about the Star Wars uh, location in Tunisia. That would be really nice to visit. Yes, Gigi, definitely. On top of my wish list is to see Tatooine. So let's make it happen. Okay, and now, as you guys probably noticed, we're already inside the uh, Ayala Mosque one of the most beloved places for shopping and recreation here in Cebu and it's pretty big yes it's huge. huge and in this huge place we have a task of finding a coffee first because nothing is better than starting your day with a cup of coffee right Gigi? right let's go find a cup of joe What do you like about Cebu? Uh, very funny. Funny? 
<laughs> and best day. Thank you. Thank you. I have a question. Uh, this is a new project, right? Yes. Can you please tell me, like, on average, how much is a square meter of a finished building, a okay. finished property? Mm -hmm. It's around 230,000 pesos to 240,000 pesos per square meter. Per so square meter. Yeah, for, for example, the studio unit would cost you around 5.5 million to 6.5 million pesos. That's 24 to 25 square meters. 24 to 25 square meters, yeah. that's around 5 million pesos. 5.5 uh, to 6.5. 5.5 to 6.5. Yeah. Okay. Do you think this uh, Cebu is more expensive than uh, Manila? No, Manila no. is the expensive one. The most expensive yeah. one. Yes. Okay. And why should people uh, come to Cebu? Because we have a lot of beaches here and we have this mall. So every tourist um, come here because of this mall and our beaches. So this project, we put the mall here uh -huh. and also the resort type We're in Cebu is best for the resorts here. Okay. So this is like a condominium with a city resort living theme. Okay. So that is why this is the most um, sought after property here. There are a lot of partners also wanted to live here. Okay. Yeah. It's just across the mall, so it's very convenient on your part. Well, thank you very much for You're all welcome. the information. Guys, for more info, you can come here and uh, visit the stand here of Alveo. Alveo. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay, really nice opinion. Really lovely people here inside the mall. Now we found out how much a square meter of uh, finished building um, in Cebu costs, which is less expensive than Manila. Seems this place is pretty big. I don't think it will uh, take us like sooner than two hours to finish visiting it. So because it's massive, I don't know in how many levels it has and it stretches not only on this side, but on the other side as well, like this, uh, from on my right, on my left, everywhere you have a lot of shops, a lot of stores, and a lot of people because it's a weekend. There's Michael over there. So yeah, so far so good. I understand why people come here and love to shop because this is like one of the most popular places to do the shopping here in Cebu. Well, this being said, um, I think we should find uh, something to eat. about Cebu. Cebu? Yeah. Actually I'm from here. Oh you're from yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. And we are so friendly. Friendly. And our beaches are very nice. Okay. Thank you. Have a lovely yeah. day. Thank you. I saw something here. Play to learn. Magic one. For everyone interested hmm? to play Vanguard, come here in Ayamo every day, every week. On Saturdays. On Saturdays. From two, to, from 2 to 6 possibly. 2 to 6 Because of two different formats going on Two different formats going on But board games, no, card games hmm. That's amazing, that's so cool Really nice job Thank you so much That was interesting What do you like about Cebu? Uh, there's a lot of places here. A like, lot of places. Uh, yeah. You can go like island hopping. Uh -huh. Like for example in Oslo, you can visit like Bhutan Days. Uh -huh. like. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. There goes to show you why people love Cebu. Perfect answers from 
locals and tourists also. And just right across from the mall you have one of the biggest intersections here that features a lot of the businesses from uh, Cebu. Not only local businesses but also international ones and you can find here a lot of banks, you can find a lot of uh, commercial centers, you can find a lot of telecommunication centers a lot of companies i'm not gonna name them all but like just a few you have hsbc around here you have the phar pharmaceutical company like as you can see like these buildings these huge buildings are actually offices for people to come here and uh, like do their dirty job so pretty interesting like how Cebu has a lot of diverse kind of uh, business culture and on the side you have all the shopping options and entertainment options and relaxation areas well Cebu a modern city yet an old city as well you have Magellan and conquistadors conquering and you have the nice business park center of people working and enjoying at the mall. Call for our channel to reach 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Subscribe! Subscribe! Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!